Okay, not too much at the bookstore today, but luckily I have something to add to this video. These books that I received in the mail today from an eBay auction that I'd won. So let, first let's start with what I got at the store. Uh, these are all the $1 books from the outdoor portion, the outdoor sale. A uh, nice looking copy of Harold Lamb's Hannibal, very nice condition. Needed to get this anyways, a uh, very good deal for one buck. One dollar for a nice looking Ray Bradbury, The Martian Chronicles, very good condition. Another Ray Bradbury title, not in quite as good condition, but a really good find for one dollar, especially R.S. for Rocket by Ray Bradbury. It's got a bunch of different stories in it. You know, 17, 17 Selected Tales of Terror, Fancy and Adventure by, the, by America's Most Renowned Writer of Science Fiction. Albert Camus' The Plague, not in Actually, not that bad condition. I was going to say, not in too good a condition, but not too bad. I needed to pick this up, but only one buck. It's oversized paperback. Very nice find. And a William Golding hardcover book that's not named Nor Lord of the Flies. You don't you usually run across that book, uh, Lord of the Flies, fairly regularly. This is an ex-library copy of this book called Darkness Visible. I haven't heard of this actually before. I don't come across his other books too often, so this would be fun to check out maybe, but not the greatest condition, but for one buck, worth picking up for sure. For $2.99 inside the store, Book of Lost Tales by Tolkien, very nice condition overall, very good find. Steinbeck Sweet Thursday, so I paid four bucks for this. I kind of Took a little inspection because I didn't know whether to pick it up or not. And since he, I don't see this one as much, and it was a hardcover, you know, it's a yeah, it's a book club edition. It's on the top there, but it's really old too. So I figured it's got to be worth at least more than four bucks. And anything by Steinbeck that I don't see regularly um, always intrigues me. It's kind of a nice looking copy good condition so that's a good find some more Tolkien right here something called after the ring nice big uh, paperback oversized paperback so only two bucks right here okay so no no illustrations or pictures or anything if you want to find out what this is about you could pause it right there and take a look at the synopsis on the back here see what you think another Tolkien item right here the making of Middle Earth this looks really cool um, the new look inside World of Terror Tolkien it's a big uh, hardcover book here only four bucks let's flip through real quick Looks like it's got a lot of great information in here. This one's definitely got a lot, quite a few illustrations and pictures throughout. Let's see what that said right there. Tolkien's Middle Ages. Oh, interesting. Won't take too much longer, but any Tolkien fans would probably be nice. So this looks like it was published later, like after the movies, I think, maybe. I think I saw a picture there. Something from the movie. Anyway, let's move along. And I did, since that's all I would have got, I splurged on this right here, Musashi Ishi Yashikawa. Huge hardcover with slipcase pretty awesome right here but I spent $10.99 on it but still it's worth a heck of a lot more than that pretty cool the uh, paperback editions of this uh, of Musashi are really expensive and hard to find now unfortunately this isn't worth like t that much more the paperbacks are actually um, definitely really hard to find and we're always worth picking up if, if I ever run across them but uh, I just uh, had to get that it's too cool looking 
Unfortunately, once somebody does buy it, I'll also have to lug it to the, the post office with my other packages, so it'll make it a lot heavier of a trip. Now, to the books that I got in the mail today. This is 31 books, all Michael Moorcock titles, except for these, possibly. These were just edited by him, so these are like collections. Um, that happens with sci-fi and fantasy collections a lot, where <clears throat> there's one editor, a main author, who's take, who... Uh, takes the job of being the editor as you can see from this example right here best sf stories from new worlds edited by michael moorcock and they're all like this you've got number one number two number three number four number five and number six so i am most likely since i'm in the wheeling and dealing of books business now um as i let's see so there's 31 different paperbacks including these and that one um 31 different books in here so i'm going to sell some of them or resell some of them keep some of them and then also some of those that i'm going to keep i'm going to read sooner than later but i just want to have certain titles on hand when i want to get to them i'm very interested in this author after reading one book in one of the main ser series he writes and he's he seems really good and um and his books are also intriguing because they're hard to find and so sometimes you get a really good deal like i did in this ebay auction um each book probably cost me only around a dollar dollar fifty probably about yeah dollar forty dollar fifty each so that is a really good hell of a deal for his books on an individual price basis like that they're otherwise really tough to find if you try to just buy them one at a time they're going to cost quite a bit so this is also a collection of stories right here see there's the lasney borges uh, i think um we have brian aldis so he's the editor edited by michael moorcock so other than those seven i got a lot of his titles from the multiverse you know uh world that or yeah the multiverse uh series that he basically writes in and within that series there's a bunch of different series like the elric saga and count brass and the cornelius chronicles so let's go through some of them um so this this is book number one in one in, in a certain series i'm, I'm not too familiar since I'm just starting to read and, and, and that's why I got all these books so forgive me for my lack of knowledge so I'm not sure can't remember which series this is in but this is book number one I think in a series of four called the warlord of the air and same with this one this is of one book in a series the silver warriors now I know this is from the Elric saga this is chronologically the second book though i'm not sure whether which is the series i'm reading so i could read this but there would be um it'd be as far as the publishing years it would be out of order if i were to start this so i'm going to find that out and this is also I, yeah yeah okay this is in the elric saga i think later oh these yeah these have uh this book has a bunch of uh short very short stories from the Elric saga, I think. I might be mistaken, like I said, don't hold it against me if, I, if I'm misquoting or misrepresenting the author or the series or the stories or whatever. Count, okay, so yeah, we got here, yeah, volume one of the Chronicles of Count Brass. Now I have some, I do not have this one, so this was a good, a really good come up right there. I do have these. Two. So I will probably be reselling these two, um, books two and three. We got the Champion of Garethorm and the Quest for Tanalorn. I think there is a fourth book in that series. I'm not sure. I also okay. So this series right here, um, which ones? Okay, yeah, I can. Oh. Cornelian. Okay, so I do have these 
already, I think, at least two of them, but they're hardcover, so I might sell the hardcovers and keep these. This is an Alien Heat, The Hollow Lands, book two. I might be, that might be wrong or right, but book one, two, and three, I think. The End of All Songs. And I'm not sure what this one is from. I haven't looked it up. Gloriana. Pretty big book, though, um, in comparison to the other ones. He tends to write fairly short novels. Not incredibly short, but short and sweet, kind of. The Ice Schooner. So this is another series right here. I think this these books come later in the series. And The Black Corridor. I also have a hardcover of book one right here of the Von Beck series of Warhound and the World's Pain. So I'll have to choose whether to read the uh, paperback or hardcover, but I usually go with the paperback. Right there. Um, the Dragon and the Sword. What's interesting about some of these is some of these cross over into other series, which I'm really confused about. It's kind of cool, like not to <laughs> quite know what's going on and that there might be some hidden complexity to all the different series intertwining with each other or something like that. We'll see. That's why they call it the multiverse. There's also a whole bunch of Michael Moorcock comics <clears throat> based on these series uh, or some of these series. They look really cool. I'll have to eventually come across or find those, come across those at the bookstore when they have comics. They do have comics, but I don't really have time to always look through their comics. The Red Blood, Blood Game. So yeah, this is... Uh, the, Books number one, four, and five. I think in the Von Beck series. And we got right here. So this is the Swords Trilogy, three, all three books in one volume right here. I actually have a couple other copies of this, so you can see why I'll be reselling some of, um, quite a few of these books actually. And I think I have some of these as well. The Knight, okay, so we got the Knight of the Swords. So that's book three, Queen of, so of the Swords and the King of Swords. Obviously, these look cooler than the three-in-one volume with the, the cover art and the vintage look to them. So we got two copies of each pretty much right there. And same goes with what we got here, Chronicles of Corum which contains the bull and the spear, the oak and the ram, the sword and the stallion, which we have right there, the sword and the stallion, the oak and the ram. Most of these, as you've noticed, are pretty nice condition. They feel nice too. So I got a really have great deal on these, especially since these are tough to find, and the bull and the spear. So yeah, lots to get to, lots to do. I also have to show you guys, the, what I got from Sunday, we'll probably do that tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're if you a fan of fantasy and you've been looking for something, a new author to read, a new series to read, you could jump into the world of Michael Moorcock because he's got so much. You will be, uh, you'll have like a, a year or two of reading on your hand just with him alone, if not more, because he's a very prolific writer. And I'm sure a lot of his stuff I'll have a really hard time finding. It's, uh, yeah, so, yeah, check him out and let me know what you think. And if you, especially if you've already read some of his stuff, I'm just starting. So I'd love to hear your opinions and your takes and your um, um, recommendations. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks.